Hi guys and ladies, as much as I enjoy broiled, baked, and grilled fish, fried is my favorite, especially with french fries, like in so many restaurants here near Lake Erie. But how can I have my fried favorites and still maintain my low-carb diet? Well, let's see what I can do. Uh, of course, I need to catch some fish first. I'm gonna make my first cast right here off the dock. I have no idea what it'll take to catch fish on this really hot late August day. This is not the best time of year for fishing, as you know. Well, I'm gonna start with this. It's a tiny 1 16th ounce jig with a few mealworms on it. They're running really small at the bait store today. I'll reserve the right to change baits, though, as we go. Let's get out there. I'm casting the deep side of the lake where all the down branches and tree stumps are. You don't have to cast far at all. <laughs> Lay on, buddy. Ah. <laughs> good enough, good enough. I took out my trusty fish basket because I've been getting so many complaints about sticking a stringer through the fish's lip. So okay, I put them in the basket. Near the boat. Straight. Oh, it's a beauty. Wow. That's what I mean. You don't have to cast far at all. <laughs> a nice one. Little guy. Maybe not too little. No, not too little at all. <laughs> it's huge. I mean, I have my hand around him. And he is really, really big. Really, really big. Oh, I love this one. Wow, this is like two in one. Yeah, yeah baby. Ah. Small. No, oh, not that small. Yeah, he's pretty good. We're going to keep him. Something hit. Oh, big crappie. Ugly crappie. Ah! Wow! <laughs> Woo! I don't like the taste of crappie, but I'll keep it. I need the food. It's okay, it's just not great. Look at the size. Wow! 13 and a half inches. Fish. It's getting bigger. Uh, yeah, I might keep them. Big enough, seven and a half inches. That's the rule. That's my own rule. Yes. Oh, I love it! I love it! Oh. <laughs> Perfect. Got some. Another crappie. Where is he? He's over here. Not a bad one. Oh, oh, look at that. Not as big as the last one, but 12 inches. Come here. Oh, what a way to end the day, huh? A nice one. Whoa, perfect. Well, I've got plenty of fish in that basket. It's going to be well over a pound. More than enough for me and my special guest tomorrow. You remember that famous celebrity restaurant and food critic, Miss Lulu Cheeks? She'll be over. Right now, let's get in the house and fillet these. Here it is, the next day. And despite the heat, 
we did all right yesterday. In fact, just the bluegill alone produced over a pound of fish fillets. And since they're my favorites, I'm going to be using only them. But what about those french fries I mentioned? Well, let's get to work on them. Here, I have two big hunks of what remind me of elephant tusks. Now, these are daikon radishes, actually. So let's peel them and make our fries. This works well. Let's first trim off the ends. Let's cut these in half. Now let's trim a little bit off just to make it sit flatter. Uh-huh. What I'm trying to do now is make about one quarter to one half inch slices. So finally what I'm trying to do is cut them into pieces that resemble french fries. This looks like too much for two people but it's going to shrink way down. In this uh, Ziploc bag, I've got about eight ounces of coconut flour. Let's add our fries to this flour in about three batches. I'm just going to flour these up and then put them aside in another bowl. Here we go. 10 or 15 minutes, I'm going to leave it in. It's going to splatter, I think. It's really wet. I think they're done. That's the second batch. Let's get them out, drain them, and I'll keep them on a tray in the oven. <laughs> I'm just going to sprinkle Old Bay on there. They're crispy. Good. I'm just going to keep these in the oven on really low. low. Let's keep them warm. Warm and dry. I'm just putting mayo. Mayo on the uh, both sides of our fish. Looky here, I'm putting breadcrumbs into a bowl. These are low carb onion flavored breadcrumbs. Now I'm adding equal amounts, equal amounts of this freshly grated Romano cheese, Romano. Now I'm going to coat each side with this blend of breadcrumbs and Romano. I'm going to flip and do the other side real quick. Now on one side only, I'm going to put a little garlic powder. Now I've got Cajun, just one side only. I'm going to heat up and melt a stick of butter and then I'm going to coat the bottom of the pan with a thin layer of this peanut oil. Let's get our fish in the fry pan. We're going to go two minutes per side. Time to flip. Ah, time for them to come out. Yep. This platter of fried fish is looking good. Our dinner is keeping warm in the oven. And as I mentioned earlier, Miss Lulu Cheeks, the famous celebrity restaurant and food critic, is joining me for dinner soon. And I just can't figure out why she hasn't suggested marriage after we've been seeing each other for like 50 years. Isn't living together in a permanent union as one the happiest way to live? I don't know. Well, here we are once again with the famous celebrity restaurant and food critic, Miss Lulu Cheeks. Uh, thank you so much for joining me at my uh, ramshackled residence and you had a chance to sample my breaded and fried uh, fish. And what did you think of it? It was delicious. It was really? very t now tender and I, very Was it crispy taste. enough? Yes. Oh. Yes, it was very nice. Thank Just you. Just like so real fried fish. I Great. couldn't tell it was low carb. Thank you. Yes, it was low carb. And uh, speaking of low carb, you had a chance to sample my uh, fake fried uh, French fries. What did you think of oh, that? They were good. They were sweet and tender. Really? Crispy. Yeah, they yeah. were. They yeah. came out really tasty. Shoe stringy. <laughs> Shoe stringy. Yeah, right, they were right. very good. You know, uh, Miss Cheeks, oh, I can say Lulu now. Right. Oh, thank you. I I've been thinking that marriage is the happiest way of life when a man and a woman become as one. Yes, but the trouble starts when they try to decide which one. Oh, can I have a hug?